Hey, welcome to Board Game Casual, and here in this big box, we've got my haul from Nerds Day. That's the big annual sale at GameNerds.com. This was my first time participating in Nerds Day and the largest number of games I've ever purchased in a single order. So in this video, I thought I'd talk a bit about Nerds Day and share my review and my experience of what it's like to participate. And then we'll do an unboxing and check out the games and deals I was able to score. Nerds Day is a huge one-day annual sale on GameNerds.com where you can score some crazy discounts on board games and accessories. Every hour, 10 new deals are released, with each deal released two minutes apart. The deals are first come first serve while supplies last, and when they're gone, they're gone. And trust me, most things go fast. The items that will be on sale are not known ahead of time, but what Game Nerds does here that's kind of fun is publish clues for each item several days in advance as they build up to the promotion. So you can start to put together guesses of what those items might be and plan accordingly. Here's a few examples of clues from this year. Don't take too long enchanting the shops or else this game will drag on. Well, that sounds like a flamecraft pun. Enchanting shops, dragons. A gambling good time for two to nine. Maybe ready, set, bet? Is it an expansion? Is it a standalone? The debate makes my heart flutter. That's gotta be Wingspan Asia. Shout out to the community on Reddit and BoardGameGeek here who come together to decipher all of the clues as best they can, and it makes for a great resource planning ahead. Now, in previous years, I only gave the Nerds Day sale a passing glance. And from afar, I never really got it. It almost seemed like a bait and switch because by the time I'd look at the site, I'd just see a bunch of deals that were out of stock. And that's because this isn't your typical kind of sale. This is more of an event that you have to be actively participating in throughout the day. And to be totally candid, these urgent frenzy flash sale type of promotions are never something that appealed to me. I've never been one to wait in line or camp out to try to get on on some sort of limited promotion or exclusive. I'm also usually pretty skeptical that these types of sales are just an excuse for stores to try to move old inventory that nobody really wants. Well, this year I ended up participating in Nerds Day almost on a whim. I woke up to some texts from a friend showing me his purchases from that morning. This prompted me to check out the site, and I found myself disappointed to have just missed out on some incredible deals on games that I've actually been wanting. And it got me wondering, well, what else is coming up? And I started researching the clues and the guesses people were making in the forums to make sure I didn't miss out on anything else. I found myself using a spreadsheet created by a Reddit user, humangene3138, thanks again, by the way, which really helped me plan out what to keep an eye on. And I made a point to get in front of the refresh button for some specific games in the afternoon. I have to say, when the deals go up, they sell out so fast, there is something exhilarating about clicking the add to cart button, the instant it's active, and actually managing to complete the checkout with a purchase. It really feels like you won out and your research and fast reflexes paid off. Not to mention the thrill of the clue guesses being right or wrong. I understand the model and psychology of this type of sale now, which admittedly is a little dangerous in how addictive it is, but it's really fun. Man, and then those click-to-see price in cart deals really got me hooked. I kept finding games that weren't necessarily at the top of my wish list, but were always in my, well, if I ever find a copy cheap enough category. And the in-cart price would be so good, I couldn't say no. More specifically, I couldn't really think about it. If there was even a hint of wanting a game and the price looked good, then I had to act before it sold out. No time to debate with myself over it. And I figured, hey, if nothing else, I could buy it and save it as a gift for someone. My buddy even mentioned a few games that fell through his fingers because after he added it to the cart, he took too long to think about it and it ran out of stock before he could check out. By the way, the Game Nerds hold system is key here. Rather than having to pay shipping on each purchase, you can buy the game and put it on hold. Then when you're ready, you can release the holds all at once, ideally for a total price that meets the minimum for free shipping. Admittedly, I think I was on tilt a little bit, especially feeling like I missed out on the morning deals. I ended up buying five games, which for me is a lot. I held back on buying even more. And it's not like I was even planning to buy games that day. But the thing is, 
I only spent about a hundred bucks total. I'm usually someone who's pretty susceptible to buyer's remorse, but five games, each of which I've been wanting in some capacity or another, for a hundred bucks? Really feels like a win. At any rate, Nerds Day definitely sucked me in, and the whole experience was kind of a rush. I had an absolute blast that day. With that, let's open up the box and see what we got. All right, like every Game Nerds order, we've got Bubble Wrap, Long Shot the Dice Game. Interesting, interesting box here. No dents, no dings, so that looks good. More Bubble Wrap. All right, Blitzkrieg. Again. No dents, no dings, looks good. Wingspan Asia. Box looks great. Millie Fiori. Small tear in the cell, you know, all right, we've got a small tear in the cellophane, probably from rubbing against each other, but no big deal, no dents, no dings. And lastly, at the bottom of the box here, Flamecraft. Wow, this is a much bigger box than I thought it would be. But looks great. Last box here, no dents, no dings. Looks fantastic. Put this aside. All right, first up is Flamecraft, which has an MSRP of $40, but I got it at Nerds Day for $20.78. Flamecraft was all the rage when it came out last year in 2022. It seemed to be on almost every best of 2022 games list at the end of the year, and I thought this looked like a game my girlfriend might like. A fun little medium weight game to pull out depending on which friends are over. The theme and art specifically aren't necessarily that appealing to me, but I enjoy worker placement, resource gathering, and strategic upgrading. It also looked like something that would be easy to learn and easy to teach. Of course, by the time I learned about this game, it was out of stock, and print runs would just sell out immediately. As the months went on, I noticed the hype started to fade a bit. Comments became a little more critical of the game. So I moved this from the top of my must-have list into a, well, maybe if it's on sale one day. And seeing it for 20 bucks on Nerds Day was the perfect excuse to finally pull the trigger. I'm really excited to try this game, and I, I think my friends will like it. Next is Wingspan Asia, which has an MSRP of $45, and I got it for $21.97. I really like the game Wingspan, but my girlfriend loves Wingspan. If you ask her what she wants to play, her first response will always be Wingspan. Wingspan Asia is both a two-player standalone game that can also be used as an expansion to the base game for Wingspan, which is really interesting. The one nitpick I have about the base game of Wingspan is that it's almost always in your best interest to just lay eggs the last round. From the comments I've read, Wingspan Asia helps to negate this a bit with some cool new ways to score points, and it puts more of an emphasis on getting birds out. So I'm pretty excited to try this one as a two-player game, and I know my girlfriend's gonna love it. Third game here is Millie Fiori with an MSRP of $50, and I got it on sale for $27.97. Millie Fiori was actually the first item I was able to snag during the Nerds Day sale. It was also sort of the biggest impulse buy. I couldn't remember much about the game other than it was on a bunch of the best of 2021 game lists. I remember thinking it looked interesting at the time, but for me it was overshadowed by some of the other games that came out that year. 
But after missing out on some of the Nerds Day deals earlier that morning and seeing this was still available and for under 28 bucks, I figured why not? At the very least, I could save it as a gift for someone. Since placing my order, I've had the chance to go back and watch some videos and some playthroughs, and I feel like I really lucked out here. This game looks like a ton of fun, full of really snappy quick turns and fun ways to build combos. So I'm really happy I pulled the trigger, and I'm definitely keeping this one for myself, and I'm excited to get this one to the table. Blitzkrieg, this has an MSRP of $35, and I was able to get it on Nerds Day for $21.97. I remember hearing about Blitzkrieg for the first time when it was on a bunch of the best board games of 2019 lists, uh, the year that it came out. And I thought this little tug-of-war, dueling-type two-player game looked really fun, especially with a promise of how fast it plays, under 20 minutes. However, for years, it was just impossible to find a copy. There were really long bouts between print runs, and it seemed like it would always sell out quickly. And as the years went on, new games started to catch my eye, and this game started to slide down the priority list. Especially as I realized I don't often play a ton of two-player games. But it's always been a game that remained on my list and has been in the back of my mind. So I was really stoked that this was a part of Nerds Day because for about 20 bucks, it was finally an excuse to pull the trigger on this game. And finally, we've got Long Shot the Dice Game, which has an MSRP of about $33 and was on sale for $15.97. Long Shot the Dice Game came out last year in 2022 and made waves, interestingly, alongside another horse racing game, Ready, Set, Bet. The gameplay between the two games are very different, so there was a lot of debate about which horse racing game people preferred. I am much more in the Ready, Set, Bet camp. That's the one I immediately gravitated towards and I knew I would like. In fact, I actually have two copies of that game so I can play in really big groups. That said, Long Shot the Dice Game looked fun as well. I don't typically like roll and write games, but I'm always on the hunt for games that play well with six or more players. And man, for 15 bucks, I couldn't say no. I had to get myself a copy. So there you have it, my haul from Nerds Day 2023. Five games for just over 100 bucks. I'm really, really happy with my purchases, and I feel like I got some great deals on games I've been wanting for a while. I have to admit, I had a ton of fun jumping into Nerds Day with both feet, looking at the clues and planning my time to be in front of the computer. This type of promotion could easily go south if none of the games on sale were things that I wanted or if the prices didn't seem like that big of a discount. But kudos to Game Nerds here for some really attractive offers on really good stuff. Assuming schedule and budget allows, I'll definitely make a point to pay close attention to next year's Nerds Day. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Nerds Day. Let me know if this was your first time participating and the best deals you got down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching! I hope this video gave you some insight if you've been on the fence and curious about Nerds Day. It might not be the right promotion for everyone, but I have to admit, I had a lot of fun. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.